All right, so we've got our speed tank together here and we did run into a bit of a show stopping issue and that is with the use of these cotter pins. So let me show you. So we ordered a whole bunch of these M3 by 45 millimeter bolts, but they only sent us 20 um, instead of 100. So we didn't have enough to finish. So I started using these cotter pins to put the track pieces together. You can see right here is a bolt and then here are the cotter pins. The space in between the two pieces of track that holds the bolt together is less than the space with the cotter pins. The cotter pins uh, just aren't quite wide enough and that's actually causing some binding in the track. So you can see here if I turn the track, it's binding up there. And if I just keep turning, eventually it slips in, but you know, it is binding quite often. So I am gonna need to order in some more of these M3 by 45 millimeter bolts. I do have them on order and they'll be here in a few days. But in the hopes of getting this video out before the weekend here, uh, let me just show you how she runs in the meantime. So there you go, because of that extra space, I was actually able to take out quite a few pieces of track. Um, so I took three pieces out from each side. And uh, so just that little, you know, millimeter or two between each track piece adds up. Uh, it does actually make a substantial difference there. So overall, I'm pretty impressed with this thing so far. I can't wait to get those uh, new bolts in so we can change up that track and get it outside for some testing in the snow. And until next time, if you're looking for any cool ideas for 3D projects to build, kits, parts, or instructions on how to build them, check us out at rcprinter.com.